This is going to be a quick overview of how to utilize Naviance to assist in your college application process. Today we're going to focus on how to request high school transcripts and how to request teacher letters of recommendation. We're going to do this in our Naviance page. So we're going to start by going to Clever. Once in our Clever account, we're going to select the Naviance icon. And that will take us to our Naviance account. Once in our Naviance account, we're going to go to the Colleges tab and choose Colleges I'm applying to. The first thing you're going to see is this red bar across the top. If you're using Common App for any of your applications, you want to go ahead and match your accounts. Once you've matched your account, you may see another red bar across the top. This one might be asking you about the FERPA waiver. If you see this, you want to go ahead back into your Common App account and complete the FERPA waiver. Once you've completed that waiver and matched your accounts, you'll see all your Common App schools in your Colleges I'm Applying To list here in Naviance. If there's another school that you wanted to apply to, but you are applying directly through the school's website, you want to hit the blue plus sign over here. I want to go ahead and apply to Ball State, and I want to do that directly through their website. So I'm going to search Ball State. I'm going to select the priority deadline. I'm going to let my counselor know that I'm applying directly to the institution and that I will be sending my SAT scores. And I will let my counselor know that I've submitted that application. I'm going to go ahead and choose initial transcript and request and finish. Now you can see Ball State University has been added. You can see that that is done directly through the institution and not through Common App by this symbol here. And if we look at the transcripts column, we can see that transcripts for all of my colleges have been requested. If one of these was not requested, I could go to the add request transcripts and go ahead and request that. Once all the colleges I'm applying to are listed in here, and all my transcripts are requested, I can go back to the Colleges tab and go to Letters of Recommendation. Once here, I can click Add Request, and this is going to show me a list of all my schools and whether or not they require Letters of Recommendation and how many Letters of Recommendation I'm able to send to them. Some schools, like Indiana State here, do not even allow me to send a Letter of Recommendation. In that case, I wouldn't be worried about this page. But I also have Rose Holman Institute of Technology on here. They do require one letter of recommendation. And they only allow me to send one letter of recommendation. So in this case, I'm going to think of a teacher that would write a very good letter for me that's relevant to the school and major that I'm choosing. I would get together my resume, a brag sheet. And if I can come up with a good personal story, this related to class or to life, uh, I would share that with my teacher as well. Something like that might help personalize the letter and a personalized letter is going to stand out a lot more. So I'm going to take that information, share it with the teacher, ask if they'll write that letter of recommendation. Once they've agreed to write that, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select my teacher. And typically I'm just going to hit select all. And I'm going to add that letter to all the colleges I'm applying to. Otherwise, I can pick just specific colleges if I'd like to as well. After I've selected where I want my letter to go, I'm going to write a nice little thank you note there to my teacher. And I'm going to go ahead and submit that request. Now I've requested my transcripts. I've requested my letters of recommendation. I've completed these processes. If you have any trouble along the way, please contact your school counselor.